Hello, my name is Jennifer Kenyon, and I'm the director of the International Student and Scholar Services Office at the State University of New York at Geneseo. Thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to tell you more about SUNY Geneseo and why it's a great place for international students. SUNY Geneseo was founded in 1871. We are an elite public liberal arts college. We are part of the State University of New York system, otherwise known as SUNY, uh, which is the largest university system in the United States. SUNY actually consists of 68 different colleges and universities, um, so there's really something for everyone. Geneseo serves as a de facto honors college for the State University of New York because we are very well known, even within the SUNY system, for the academic quality of our programs. Geneseo is located in western New York. The closest major city is Rochester, about 30 minutes from us. Uh, we are also quite close to Buffalo, New York, which is just over an hour away. We're also close to some great sightseeing attractions like Niagara Falls. Uh, we're about an hour and 30 minutes from Niagara Falls and only about three hours actually from Toronto, Canada. We're very close to the Canadian border. Everyone's always interested in how close we are to New York City. By car, it's a bit far. It's about five and a half hours, but it is a very quick, easy one hour flight for people who want to go down to New York City for a visit. So really you get the best of both worlds. You get to see some great landscape and some great sightseeing where we're located here in Western New York. It's very safe and very friendly, and you can still take an easy vacation to a major city like Toronto or to New York City. Here's a map of New York so that you can see exactly where we're located here on the western side, just south of Lake Ontario. SUNY Geneseo was located in the historic village of Geneseo. It's a very traditional college town. There's a very strong sense of community. You can actually see a picture here. I think it looks like um, what I would imagine Main Street USA to look like. We have very accessible free public transportation available for students. There's free shuttles that run from campus to a local grocery store, Walmart. Um, you can even take a free shuttle to Rochester on the weekends if you want to go, um, maybe go shopping or to an attend an event that's happening up in the city. It is a very, very safe campus and we're very close to this Main Street area where students can go for shopping, um, coffee, there's cafes, restaurants, places to get your hair cut, um, there's a movie theater. So there is lots to do even within walking distance. A few rankings and distinctions. Uh, Geneseo was actually ranked number three in the top public schools by US News and World Report in the North region um, and number 13 overall in the North region. Um, we're number four in best undergraduate teaching by US News and World Report. We've actually been ranked number one in the US in awarding undergraduate physics degrees by the American Institute of Physics. And Geneseo is one of the nation's best institutions for undergraduate education by Princeton Review. We're ranked number five among SUNYs and number 115 among public and private colleges in the United States. Uh, another thing that I think is very important to recognize is fantastic outcomes that our students have after graduation. We're ranked number 10 nationally among public institutions for our four-year graduate four-year graduation rate by the Chronicle of Higher Education. And what that means to you is that you can come to Geneseo knowing that you have a great opportunity to graduate on time. That saves you money and it helps you to move on to your future goals and to find that graduate school or future employment that you're um, hoping for. We are also an AACSB accredited business school, so we have fantastic business programs available. At a glance, Geneseo was primarily an undergraduate institution. We offer 50 different undergraduate degree programs, including some STEM sciences like biology, biochemistry, chemistry, physics, uh, neuroscience. We also have some really fantastic liberal arts programs such as political science, international relations, education, communications. And then finally, we also have some amazing business programs, um, business administration, accounting, economics. So there's a fantastic range of different programs to choose from. We also have two really wonderful master's degrees. One is in education and one is a master of science in accounting. Geneseo is a medium-sized institution. We have about 5,447 undergraduate students and just under 100 graduate students. Our students come from all over the United States and from many countries around the world. Our incoming student profile a few years ago was about an SAT of 1230 uh, with a 92.3 GPA. Uh, we have recently actually gone test optional, so don't worry about those SAT scores as an international student. 
um, but we did want you to have an idea of our incoming class. Our average class size is 23 students, and we have a fairly small student to faculty ratio of 18 to 1. Geneseo has a very strong emphasis on undergraduate education. No classes are taught by graduate students or teaching assistants, and we have exceptional research and internship opportunities for undergraduate students. 88% of our faculty hold a PhD or terminal degree in their field. Uh, and we have some really amazing and highly awarded faculty on our campus, 14 SUNY Distinguished Professors and 19 Chancellors Award for Excellence in Teaching Recipients teach at SUNY Geneseo. One thing that I always like to mention, because it's something that I think is really special that Geneseo offers, uh, is again that real strong emphasis on undergraduate research opportunities. Every year, Geneseo holds Great Day, which stands for Geneseo Recognizes Excellence, Achievement, and Talent. It's a special day where we have no classes and students are encouraged to give presentations about some great project or research or other creative thing that they've been working on. So some examples are uh, faculty-led research projects, um, maybe a student who's written a play or a short story, or students even perform dances or music that they've written. So it's a wide range of opportunities for students to share the creative things that they've been working on over the last year. A huge number of our students participate in this every year. Um, most recently in 2019, before the pandemic, we actually had close to 1400 students um, give presentations on different research or projects that they've been doing. Um, so this is something that I think really sets Geneseo apart and shows what strong value we place on undergraduate education. In addition to research, uh, we have some fantastic opportunities for internships, especially for our undergraduate students. So nearly 60% of our student body actually completes internships before graduation. And if we're looking at business students, that percentage actually goes up to 80% of our students are able to do an internship before graduating. And these two things together combine to show um, that we really place a very strong emphasis on the outcomes of our students. So these internships and these research opportunities combine to really give Geneseo graduates a leg up when it comes to applying for graduate school and applying for job placement after graduation. These are really great things to put on your resume and they make your degree from Geneseo very valuable. Students at Geneseo are very engaged. We have more than 200 clubs and organizations for students to choose from on campus and more than 1,200 of our students volunteer with service or community organizations every year. Geneseo is a very residential campus. Uh, international students are actually guaranteed housing on campus all four years during their undergraduate studies if they'd like. It is required to live on campus for your first two years. However, you do have the option to choose to live off campus after that. Um, we do have a very safe, friendly, residential focused campus with 24 hour campus security but there are great options for students to live off campus um, at essentially the same distance. We have off campus housing options that are just across the street from campus. So the same distance from the on campus uh, housing. Student life on campus is typically very vibrant um, and we are very slowly beginning to return to a more normal campus environment as we near um, hopefully the end of the pandemic. Um, again, we have many, many different clubs and organizations on campus. We are an NCAA Division III athletic school, and we are part of the SUNY Athletic Conference. Hockey is very, very important to Geneseo. It's very popular. Um, and once we're able to actually uh, invite students back to the games, I think you'll find that the students are very, very excited to get back to that. We are very slowly beginning to reopen um, many of our traditional campus activities. Sports have resumed, although um, in a limited capacity, uh, as well as campus activities. Students are actually allowed to um, meet in their organizations in person again, um, although uh, in, again, a very limited capacity and with very rigid safety protocols in place. So we, we are still very cognizant of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, but we are hopeful that in the coming months, um, we will be able to return to more of what we're used to in the vibrant campus community um, that Geneseo typically offers. So again, on outcomes for our students, we did a study in the year 2015 where we found that nearly 88% of our graduates within one year of graduating were either working or um, had 
been accepted or had begun graduate study. Um, so we think that's a really fantastic indicator of how their degree from Geneseo was able to help them reach that next step, either attending graduate school or with their careers. And here are some examples of placements in graduate school that some of our recent graduates have uh, been accepted. So you'll see some great big name research institutions here, many science and STEM oriented degrees, as well as law um, and some business programs. And here are some examples of employment options that our students have been offered. Um, so again, some really amazing placements all around the world. The International Student and Scholar Services Office, which is where I work, um, is actually here to help you every step of the way. We are here for admission. We're the ones who will review your application when you apply. We can answer any questions that you have. And we're here for pre-arrival to answer questions after you've been admitted and you're planning to travel to Geneseo. Um, we're here when you arrive. We're actually the ones that will pick you up from the airport and help you to get to campus. We'll host a special international student orientation for you. We offer various cultural programming and events throughout the year. That includes workshops about things like OPT and CPT. Um, and we're here to advise you on all types of visa and immigration things, such as on-campus jobs, Again, internships and CPT, OPT after graduation, um, and really anything else that you think of. Um, if you have to apply for a social security card or a driver's license, my office can help you with that. A few updates on COVID-19 specifically. Um, since fall 2020, we have been offering courses in a hybrid format, which means that many of our students, actually 70% of our students, are still attending at least one class in person per week. Um, but we do have a very large variety of online programming available and online courses. So many of our international students have uh, been studying online over the last two semesters. We do anticipate for fall 2021 that we will be in more of a back to normal, fully on campus um, model. However, uh, we will still have hopefully some online opportunities available for our students. Um, particularly international students may find that there's still some difficulties with travel. Um, and for those students, we would really advise um, that you look into our online courses that are available. But for those students that are ready to come to campus and take classes in person, we have very strenuous safety protocols in place. Hand sanitizers are available in every building. We have mask dispensers for students in every building. Masks are required in all common spaces on campus. Um, and students at the moment are required to quarantine when they arrive from overseas. Um, this is being recorded in the spring of 2021. And so it is possible that things will change between now and August of 2021. So please be sure to check with us. Um, we're happy to answer your questions by email or by phone or by WhatsApp. Just reach out if you're wondering about um, our official guidance for fall of 2021 at the moment. It's all just a guess. We're very much hoping to return to uh, in-person classes in fall 2021, um, but we are just not sure yet. But if we do return to in-person classes, rest assured that it will be in the safest possible um, way that we can offer them. Um, for those students that do have to quarantine, um, if that is something that has to happen in the fall of 2021, um, quarantine was available on campus for students at no additional cost. Um, and that does include meals because students were just receiving meals from their own meal plans. So there was no out of pocket fees for quarantining and for meal service. Now we have two intakes each year. One is the fall semester, which begins traditionally in August. And then we have the spring semester, which begins in January. Spring 20 of 21, the deadline will be November 1st. Uh, and fall of 2021, uh, the deadline will be um, actually February 1st of 2021. However, we are still accepting applications on a case-by-case -case basis. So it is still possible to apply for fall of 2021 if you're interested. Um, we do offer advanced standing and transfer credits for students that participate in things like AP, IB classes, A-level courses. Um, please be sure to check with us if you have attended an international school or if you've done one of these programs because it's very possible you could get some transfer credits for those classes. To apply for admission, you should complete the SUNY application or the Common application. 
You should be prepared to submit your transcripts, such as your high school transcripts, or if you've attended a university previously, your university transcripts. You should have English proficiency, which is traditionally either a TOEFL score or an IELTS score. The minimum for TOEFL is a 75 or an IELTS of 6.5 overall, with no subscores below 6.0. We are currently accepting the Duolingo test of English, so that is also an option. Um, you should submit one letter of recommendation, a personal statement, you'll need a financial statement of support and a copy of your passport. Some updates specifically for this year are that we are currently test optional, so don't worry about those SAT scores. Uh, I mentioned that we are also accepting the Duolingo English test right now, and we have an expanded portfolio of online classes available. So for students um, that are interested in that, please reach out. We'll be happy to give you some more information. Costs and scholarships, I think, are a very, very important part of choosing where you'll attend college. Um, our estimated costs this year, the tuition and fees, are just about $18,787. Um, as a public institution, we have a very competitive tuition rate. And actually, amongst public institutions in the United States, the tuition here in SUNY is actually about 30% lower than the national average. So it's very um, affordable in terms of US education. We have estimates as well for on-campus housing and dining and international student health insurance. So the total attendee cost is about $33,485. We do offer some amazing scholarships for international students. Those awards range from $5,000 to $9,000 per year. There's no separate application process for scholarships. When you apply for admission, you'll automatically be considered. And if you're eligible, you will automatically receive that scholarship award. Um, the awards are based on your outstanding, ex, outstanding academic achievements, so we're primarily looking at um, your high school or transfer credit um, grades, as well as any test scores that you submit. Conditional admission is available for students that have not yet met the English proficiency requirement. If you are otherwise academically acceptable to Geneseo, we can give you conditional admission so that you can um, either study at an intensive English program or at a bridge program to meet our English requirement. We have partners such as ELS language centers and international pathway programs at SUNY Morrisville. So if you've not met the English proficiency requirement and you're interested in one of these pathways, please let us know and we'll be happy to give you some more information. And now I hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Of course, if you have any questions, you can reach out at any time. I've listed our website here, my personal email address. Uh, our department email address, our phone number, Facebook, Instagram, and you can also reach me on WhatsApp. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to get to talk to you some more about SUNY Geneseo soon. Thank you and have a wonderful day.